Every four years, the Swiss elect their members of parliament. The House of Representatives consists of 200 seats divided among the 26 cantons in proportion to their population. The canton of Zurich, with over 1 million inhabitants, has 35 seats. While Uri, a canton with only 36,000 inhabitants, has one. Issues important to small cantons tend to be overruled in Parliament by issues important to the larger cantons. So the Swiss have found a way to better balance the interests between the majority and those living in less populated regions. They made a second chamber, the Senate, with 46 seats. Most cantons here have two seats. New legislation or changes to a law need approval by both chambers. This approach to balancing power between small and large cantons has historical roots. But is this the best way to represent the needs of Swiss society today? Indeed, there are more and more calls for change. There have been suggestions to alter representation in the Senate, giving large cantons three seats and small ones only one. Others think individual cantons should no longer be treated as political entities. Instead, the Senate should represent the specific interests of the diverse parts of the country, areas that are not necessarily neatly contained within cantonal borders. <laughs>